What is up, y'all? This is Petorius here with another gameplay commentary for you. This is a game of domination. I'm playing with my buddy AMG on Nuketown, and we do pretty well. I finished here going 34 and 5, and uh, it was just a really, really fun game to play. Um, I don't know how AMG did, but so yeah. Um, but I just want to thank you all again for. Um, the views, likes, and comments from the other videos. I really appreciate it a lot. It really helps me out. Um, knowing that people are actually they're wanting to see what I'm putting out. I just thought I'd throw that out there. But um, yeah, so the topic for this commentary is since it's the 4th of July, I thought I would uh, just kind of reminisce on 4th of July happenings from the past. And uh, this is kind of a good topic right now because I'm actually back at my hometown for the holiday. Uh, that's Billings, Montana. So um, kind of makes me think of the past a lot. But So uh, let's uh, go here. So I don't really know what it was, but ever since I was a little kid, I've been a pretty big pyro. Just love uh, stuff being blown up. It was just really cool to me. Just kind of destruction. Uh, yeah, love just kind of seeing what I could break, but, uh, and so whenever we go get fireworks with my parents, I'd, I'd always be looking for the biggest firework you can get, just because it made a bigger, bigger boom, more destruction, whatever, and I just begged and begged and begged my parents for the, as big as firework we could possibly get. Now, one thing that I always made sure we get a ton of firecrackers and it seemed like every year I would try to destroy one of my sister's Barbies somehow some way it doesn't matter how many firecrackers it's gonna take they were gonna I was gonna destroy one of these things I was never really that good of an engineer so I never really was very successful <laughs> but it was still fun while I was doing it and luckily, at a certain point, my sister just didn't care about them anymore, and uh, we had free reign of <laughs> what we could destroy. So, that was good. But, a lot of fun for my friends and I. And as I got older, my parents started letting me buy the bigger bigger fireworks, because they, uh, I was more safe around them, and they didn't have to worry as much, so... Um, that just made everything so much more fun. My friends and I had a lot more fun. Um, I mean, we'd seriously get together and just to shoot off fireworks when I was little. But uh, so, and I think that's that's one of the reasons why I got so much into video games and first-person shooters. It's because I love uh, ammunition. I love firepower, and I think it all comes back to uh, fireworks and Fourth of July. So one of my first, uh, first Fourth of July memories is, um, I was this was so long ago that I'm surprised I remember even a little bit of it. But uh, it was, oh gosh, I don't know how old I was, but uh, I didn't really, I wasn't able to actually light fireworks at that time. I was that little, but uh, our parents and uh, my parents and all of our neighbors uh, were together and uh, we ha just started lighting fireworks off like crazy and there was so much smoke coming from the fireworks that one of the main streets uh, right off of our neighborhood you could not drive down the street because you could not see because there was so much smoke it was amazing I remember that so well and then there was another one that my sister remembers very well, and uh, I was probably a teenager or so, and uh, my sister's only two years behind behind me, so um, she's right up there in age, and I remember we got some uh, Roman candles, and yeah. I was very much into reading instructions, not breaking any of the rules of the fireworks, and so I... Uh, it told me to place it in the ground, so I tried to make a hole for it, and uh, it was a very, very bad 
uh, place to put it, but I did it anyway, and I lit it. And what happened is it tipped over and started shooting at my sister, and she, of course, freaks out like she's going to die, and, yeah, it was very over... She overreacted a little bit, but you know what? That's what sisters are for, right? So now, with her part of the story, this is my sister, Gabby, a.k.a. G-String. Hello, all you YouTubers. I'm sorry I sound groggy right now, but I was woken up with my brother telling you a story that was <laughs> false. So, I'm going to give you the real story. Peter decides that he's going to use some weird tube firework things that shoot out giant glowing balls. Anyways, and he sticks one in a pile of mud and lights it and it tips over and starts shooting at Peter and myself. And instead of being a brother, loving, and caring, and protective, he pushed me out of the way into more of the shooting fireballs and he ran for the bridge. Story number one. Story number two, you might not know. He wants to hurt me, I think. Because the next day, he lit my shorts on fire with a punk. And I had to take them off on our front porch and go find the hose. So that's Peter for you. Um, yeah, and that's the real story. And as we all may suspect, she might have over... Uh, exaggerated a little bit there but uh, the truth is yes I did actually burn her clothes with a punk they did not actually light on fire but uh, they could have but they didn't big difference and now the final story I have is based around safety and I want all of you to be safe this 4th of July whether it's with the fireworks or whether it's al alcohol or whatever uh, just please be safe. Uh, don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Which, I don't know how to take that even. Uh, but this story, uh, I actually wasn't even there for this, but uh, it happened to a friend of mine, and uh, it's a very scary thing, and it's a very real thing. And uh, so what happened is it was uh, about three years ago now, and uh, his name's Chris Carlin, and he was over at one of my other friends' house, Tyler Froelich, and uh, they were lighting off fireworks. He uh, went to go uh, light an artillery shell, and what something went wrong, and I think a spark might have went down in the tube and uh, lit the artillery shell too early, and it shot off while his face was over the tube. It hit him in the face and exploded, and uh, no one really knew what was really what was going on. They just thought Chris was doing something weird. But uh, then they realized that uh, he had been hurt, and they had to rush him to the hospital. And he, uh, I don't know exactly what they did, but uh, he was in the hospital for, it might just have been a day. But uh, he still has a shrapnel in his face from it. Uh, but there's nothing. It's hard to be foolproof safe when it comes to fireworks, which is uh, which is not the most pleasant thing to think about. And uh, but please be safe, everyone, and uh, I have as much fun as you can. It's a great, great week, great weekend, great day, and I will leave it at that. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys today. And if you guys, uh, I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of this gameplay. It's a fun one, but um, if you guys like the video, leave a like or a comment. Uh, if you really liked it, give it a sh uh, share or a favorite. And um, if you want me to talk about something specific, just let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll talk about it. But uh, other than that, please have a wonderful 4th of July, 4th of July weekend. Be safe. Uh, don't do anything stupid. And I mean it. So, uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, we will see you uh, next week. Later.
Hostile hunter killer drone inbound. Hostile care package inbound. Bravo secure. UAV inbound. Coming in hot. Look at me. You guys did this. 